This is Earth. Down to the very corners of its cells, it's what we call home. Sadly, it seems as if we can't do much since humans are constantly polluting the environment. Or can we? The controversy for climate change hit the front page 30 years ago, and it still has not been fixed since. The upcoming presidential elections will come to an end soon, and it is up to our next president to address the issue. Climate science is real. It's not a hoax. It's accepted that humans are having a negative impact on our climate. As a proud American, as a lifelong conservative, and as a young person, I urge you to accept climate change for the reality it is and respond accordingly. Climate change is becoming a bigger problem every day. Next Avenue, a public media platform, asked its readers which election issue they wanted addressed and climate change hit top one. Also, registered voters said that they'll vote for a candidate just based on their stance on climate change, which encourages candidates to fight against this issue. Senator Michael Bennett released his climate plan, which contained the proposal to cut energy waste by 2040. Joe Biden ensuring the U.S. achieves a 100% clean energy economy by 2050, and Senator Cory Booker wants to directly invest $3 trillion by 2030 to fund the transition to a 100% carbon neutral economy no later before 2045. Those are just a few to name off the list. 2019 uh, committee meeting for the House Select Committee on the Climate Crisis. Without objection, the chair is authorized to declare a recess of the committee at any time. And I invite everyone to follow the witness testimony or read it at climatecrisis.house. The effects of climate change include a variety of disasters such as shifting rainfall patterns, impacts on agriculture, melting glaciers, and rising sea levels. Not just this, but we have seen observable effects on the environment. Plant and animal ranges have changed, glaciers have shrunk, and ice on rivers and lakes are breaking up earlier. While the temperature is rising at a fast rate due to climate change, crops will have a hard time growing, which will affect us in the long run because colder days are increasing as time goes on. Hotter days can also affect us because these changes will lead to an increase in heat-related deaths in the United States reaching as much as thousands to ten thousands of additional deaths each year by the end of the century during summer months according to climate impacts on human health. Greenhouse gases itself can emit many harmful chemicals in the air that cause chronic respiratory disease, lung cancer, and other diseases. Although many out there are informed about climate change and what it's capable of such as the people we have interviewed. What causes global warming? All right, so global warming or global climate change is caused uh, by extra carbon dioxide that goes into the atmosphere. So normally there's a natural cycle where carbon, carbon moves through the atmosphere, the oceans, into plants and animals. Uh, and over time, uh, some of that carbon gets turned into fossil fuels. Those fossil fuels now are being brought out by humans. We're burning it, and so now the atmosphere is at about, I think it's like 400 parts per million, uh, where normally, uh, if we look in historically, the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is a lot closer to, I think, uh, two something, 240. Even though an increase of a few degrees in global average temperature does not sound like much, global warming of just a few degrees will be associated with widespread changes in regional and local and precipitation, as well as with increase in some types of extreme weather events. And these other changes will have serious impacts on human societies and in the natural world. Others might think that one person won't make a difference when it comes to emitting carbon footprint. But once an individual starts to develop bad habits, it continues to the next person and builds up until we realize that it's too late. They also have the mindset that climate change isn't the worst problem out there right now. But if we continue to shun the earth, it will create a snowball effect and consume our daily lives as we know it. What we know and love will be gone if we continue on the same path of destroying ourselves. Our presidential candidates have the power to steer us on the right path of a safer world, not only for us, but the future generations ahead of us. Thank you so much for coming out to strike with us for the climate! We need Americans that will stand up with faith in our country, faith in our ideals, faith in each other, and come together again, and stand together, and work together, and love together, and overcome his darkness with our light.